name's Bobby Barnes. I'm the sales director here at Deed Solar. Hello, uh, my name's David Norman and I am the managing director of Deed Solar. Um, at the moment, as far as grants concerned, uh, no, but the energy companies have stepped in since the old feed-in tariff was around uh, some years ago and that's since finished. The energy companies have moved into the renewable sector quite heavily and are now paying the customers for their exported energy. So whatever you generate from your panels that you can't use, i.e. for instance your batteries are full or you're on holiday, or you simply, you simply are charging them so fast that you can't fill them up enough, that energy will then go back to the grid, which you'll be paid for. All the energy companies pay a different rate for that energy. Ultraviolet light is what's required, so even if it's snowing, the snow will sit on the panel, but the rays will still be there. The irradiance level of the location of the property, all of these factors are taken into account. What's important to know is they work off of ultraviolet light, so they will produce any time of year. They will always produce something. And I'll give you an example. If you've got a four kilowatt system, on a bright summer's day, you're, you're never gonna produce the capable output of your system. So if your system is a four kilowatt system, you're looking at around three and a half kilowatts. Now that would be in direct sunlight on a south facing roof at set pitch. But once you take them factors away, then you start to, to lose a bit. Um, once you then add overcast in, it drops down even more, and that could take it from 3.5 down to a kilowatt an hour. Um, so there is a big difference. You know, what we do is we account for that drop throughout the seasons, and we go bigger, and we have storage. So, so there, and there's not just storage from the panels, there's storage from the, the grid now. We, we, we actually charge at a lower rate. So yes, solar works all year round. The levels of efficiency are very seasonal. The, um, the technology now allows us to work with that and allows us to ensure that whatever time of year your investment is capitalised. based on your consumption, how much electric you're, you're buying. So we would take a, a utility bill, an electricity bill, determine how much electricity you're using, and then it comes down to what adequate space you have on the roof, um, for what size system you can have, but it all stems from you know what space is available on the roof for the panels to what your consumption is on your electric bill. Once we take those two figures, then we're left with uh, a surplus, which is what will we'll be fed to the batteries. It comes down to your energy bill and the size of system and the way you live your life. If you're um, a working family, the house is empty for long hours during the day, then I would recommend a bigger battery than someone who was maybe retired spending more time indoors. Why? Of course, you, you, you'd fill that battery up by lunchtime and at that point you start exporting back to the grid and then you use all your energy in the evening so of course whatever way your lifestyle is would suit the different size battery um, when we, before we make that decision with you it, we will look at your energy bill uh, or all of our customers energy bill and your lifestyle and we'll work a battery that suits you batteries are great nowadays lithium iron they're light, um, they can be fitted in the garage. They're, the profile, you're talking five inches in profile, so it's not intruding into a, a cupboard, for instance. Most of the time, people like to put them in the loft. We can even put them in a housing on the outside of a property. There is nowhere a battery can't go, and the dimensions that we'll send over on data sheets and from the survey that we will do, we'll choose the best place for the battery with yourselves. You know, it's, it's not big, it's very small, um, very lightweight now. The technology has come so far um, and it's aesthetically pleasing. It's not, you know, industrial bulky units. It, 
that actually looked pretty pretty cool and uh, you know we fitted one recently customer wanted it in his front room I don't know if you've seen the Tesla Powerwall but people want to show him off yeah um, so it's hardware you know hardware is you know, hardwired connections are you know done correctly good uh, very reliable software you know, you will find firmware updates like your mobile phone and everything else, you know, your laptop, your, you will find that there is firmware upgrades, it will go down, servers will need upgrading, there will be periods where them upgrades are happening. Um, the only advice uh, we offer uh, packages for this is um, cleaning the module. Now, try and get it done professionally, I say that because if you don't clean the module, modules um, correctly what can happen there's silicone seam that um, keeps the glass uh, protecting the cell weather tight now if you try and jet wash that you can break the seam which will allow water into the cells which could damage the diode you know yes by cleaning your panels you can actually keep the efficiency at its peak whereas it can tail off at about 15 percent just by having a sheet of dust we know the general ultraviolet and UV and they'll generate all year but actually keeping them clean um, will keep them as efficient as they can be so for a very small price um, you can have a annual maintenance or an annual visit will do checks on the system ensure test results are up um, yeah there's things that can go wrong older systems before you wouldn't know that anything had gone wrong until you noticed that maybe you wasn't generating as as much that year as you was the previous year but things have moved on now every system we install comes with an app that you can link to your phone or your laptop and you can see how much energy is being produced on a half hourly a half hourly rate throughout the day you, you would always log on and think oh that's low today now we at Deej can also see that, that data that data as far as I'm concerned is precious in making sure that your systems are running perfectly I think to find an installer, you need to ensure you're going with a company who are transparent. They're showing you from the front to the back, the process, the products, and, um, and it's validated. We're accredited by EPVS, um, HIAS, NAPIR, MCS, OLEB. There's so many NIC, EIC, Alexa, there's so many um, governing bodies and, and it's so regulated as long as the companies that you do choose are accredited by these bodies then you know you're, you know, it's the policing measures are there and you're going to get um, the right service. We feel that um, Solar for a long time has been viewed as something that only rich people can buy, and that and, and that would probably be, be true. You know, extremely expensive product, a real what we would call high ticket item. Uh, we had to come up with a model that we felt that was accessible to everybody, somewhere a price point that everyone could purchase solar and and a good product as well, without you know using you know inferior products. We haven't done that. We haven't cut corners. What essentially we've done is we've managed to cover the whole country with marketing, we've covered the whole country when it comes to installations, and therefore we're working on a, on a business model that we can install a sheer amount of business to create a saving for us as a company, which we have managed to pass on to 